years. These disorders are currently estimated to affect as many as billion people worldwide and the number is expected to increase as years pass by. So what can be done? Most of these disorders have no cure while the other surgeries are far too risky. Fortunately, in the recent years, there has been a development in the field of regenerative medicine whereby stem cell therapy has become available to doctors as a new treatment method. The greatest impact of stem cell therapy has been on otherwise incurable pediatric neurological disorders. With increasing research in this field and greater publications coming out showcasing the safety and efficiency of the stem cell therapy, a drastic and considerable shift is happening in people's approach to these disorders. This is Dr. Alok Sharma, um, Director of Neurogen Brain and Spine Institute, Professor of Neurosurgery and a Head of Department at LTMG Hospital and LTM Medical College. Doctor, this is a great establishment that you have here and it's an absolute honor to carry forward um, this research. Um, what was the aspect that made you want to carry forward this research and execute stem cell therapy? That's a very good question because the genesis of this goes back to when I was a student, which is why I always emphasize what happens in a student years. You know, I was in my final year and uh, at that time what happened was that I was in the ward and I saw a paralyzed patient uh, lying there with his food uneaten because he was unable to eat and nobody could feed him and his urine had come out and he was lying helplessly. So I asked the doctor who was taking the round, I was just a student, doctor why can't we do something about this patient? And he said, oh we can't do anything, he's a spinal cord injury patient, he's going to die anyway. And in that moment my eyes connected with the eyes of the patient and we I saw the anguish of an alert mind in a body which will not respond and in that moment as a 22 23 year old student I decided that my life will be about trying to help such patients and since then my life has been just one mission how to help patients with irreversible neurological damage get back power in their hands and legs get back the ability to speak and get back their intellect and higher functions. So that really is the genesis of all my work. What are the different types of stem cells that are used for therapy? So stem cells are broadly speaking of two types. Allogenic stem cells, which are stem cells that you get from the outside and autologous stem cells. These are stem cells that we get from our own body. Now, Allogenic stem cells are again divided into two broad types. You can get stem cells from the embryo, that is either from the aborted fetus or from test tube babies. These are called embryonic stem cells. You can also get stem cells from the umbilical cord, which connects the mother and baby at birth. And these are called umbilical cord stem cells. Now, embryonic stem cells are the source of a major controversy. There is a lot of ethical issues about it. Uh, they are also potentially dangerous. So, most people all over the world, we do not use embryonic stem cells because of the ethical considerations and because of the potential dangers. Umbilical cord stem cells in comparison are safer than embryonic stem cells. But the other group which I was talking about, that is autologous, this is the bulk of our work. These are stem cells we get from our own body. You know, our body is rich with stem cells and there are some areas from where we can actually extract them. The most easily accessible is from the bone itself and what we do is we put in a needle into the bone marrow and we can take out our autologous stem cells. You can also get stem cells from the fat in our abdomen and you can also get them from the teeth, from the pulp of the teeth. So these are the areas from where we can get autologous stem cells. A new type of stem cell that has evolved is something called IPSC, induced pluripotent stem cells, where we take the body's own cells which is autologous and change the inside and so these are autologous cells that behave like embryonic stem cells and uh, for this research professor Yamanaka got the Nobel Prize in medicine just two years ago so broadly speaking they have allogenic you have autologous and you have IPSE. So what are the three main neurological disorders that children face worldwide? autism. 
autism is a mental condition characterized by great difficulty in communicating and forming relationships with other people and in using language and abstract concepts. Cerebral Palsy Cerebral Palsy is a non-progressive